hi guys welcome to my channel in this particular video i'm going to show you how to master your your your, your music with a limiter how to master with a limiter step by step tutorial so we are right here in our DAO, and the first thing we're going to do is to bring in our audio like as you can see my audio is already here so let me just preview a bit <laughs> I'm not broke, so you know. Oh yeah, pa, I made do like Esama. Okay, this is our track that we're going to be mastering, and I'm going to put the cursor on where you have have the highest dynamic. Okay? Know me everywhere, where them chicks at. So the first thing I'm going to do is to bring in my um, uh, EQ equalizer. So I'm going to bring in my equalizer right here. Then after the equalizer, I'm going to cut out some little. Uh, low end some home excessive bass frequency below 20 hertz so if you have excessive bass frequency it will not the uh, excessive bass frequency frequency does not allow your brightness of the beat to come out so in this particular channel so we're just going to brighten the mix a little bit to give it a little brightness so that the vocal can be bright know me everywhere where them chicks at they could not ball out start to shake that the party don't start where my keys at they could not ball out the party don't start you not get mad so this particular um 2k to 20k has helped to bring out the clarity of the voice okay so i'm going to show you the preview so that you see it know me everywhere so you can see it's dull so the brightness is not there mm? i'm going to play it again know me e know me After. everywhere so you can see how the vocal become very very bright and pronunciation so if you are mastering your own uh, uh, music so what you need to do is to ensure that you give it a little bit of a uh, high end so that the clarity of the voice will be out there so i'm going to try it again know me everywhere before by uh, before know me everywhere the voice is dull after know me everywhere where them chicks at they could not ball out. so now that we are done with this particular AK I'm going to bring in my limiter so we have a uh, type of limiter here but the limiter we're going to be using this particular tutorial is going to be this limiter so this particular limiter we have automatic output and on this particular output we also have limiter built in inside this knob we have limiter built in inside this knob here we also have ceiling so on this particular knob we have built-in um clipper beauty clipper that is why when you see minus minus three if i put in minus one it means that whenever the audio reaches minus one it's not going to exceed minus five db so here when i have ceiling Hmm. when i have input so on this input where you have um input gain so we're just going to demonstrate this to give it um high input volume to give it that pump and that energy so i'm going to bring know me everywhere where them chicks so we're going to do a couple of settings here so we have this ring so on this particular mood we're going to put it on balance mood so on this balance mode is going to help you to balance the frequency so these are other options of balance mood you can just try them out. Know me know me, know me everywhere. Know me everywhere. So this particular balance moon here is more like um, a built-in equalizer that helps you shave out some frequency. Um, if I put it on the balance mode, know me everywhere. So the balance mode here helps to shave on a little bit of low end and a little bit of high end. Here we have a little bit pump of inputs, maybe like a little bit gain. Know me everywhere. And here, know me every so you can see we, on this harmonic too, we have more added harmonic, like a little bit of distortion that gives it more weight. So depending on the option you're going to use, but on this particular tutorial, I'm going to be using on the balance uh, harmonic mode to add a little bit of harmony, a little bit um, uh, harmonic so that it can have more pump and more energy. Okay. Then I'm going to say the SPLL D train. So D train simply means cancellation of noise for example we have a digital noise on our audio right here inside this audio so with the help of d train d train will not help you to cancel out some of the noise to give you clarity so this is the off option we are just on the off option so i'm going to be d train on the 16 bit on the 24 bit i'm going to be d train on the 24 bit 
okay because um this particular audio audio file is on the 24 bit render down if it's on 16 bits if you render down on 16 bits you're going to data on 16 bit so we have the isp lm mode this isp lm mode is just a mode the format of dittering so on this format of dittering i'm going to be using 16x dittering to be able to cancel out more noise so right now i'm going to leave this one on zero on zero this is going to be on zero or just on minus one to say so we're going to give it a, an input no, right? me. so this particular one is just to check the bypass input before and after then we have what we call unity speaker gain unity gain monitor speaker so this particular option you're going to put it on this option hmm? no, me. so this particular option will help you to monitor when you have excessive loudness and the right loudness okay so we're going to i'm going to put it off I'm going to put it off and first of all i will put the gain for you to see the loudness then here on no the meter me so this particular peak here is showing you the peak and this one is showing you the rms this bar is rms peak and rms at the same time that's what this particular bar is showing you this is left and right bar no so this white part is the peak and this down one is the rms so the rms level is what this meter is showing on the left mm? on the input side you can see we have what's called input and we have the input button here that will have the output hmm? and so if i play no it too you can see that you can see no that the rms everywhere. level on this is the same Where because of the input at? so the more i put in the input i'm going to be checking the rms of the output too so let me let's give it the input right input and see how it's going to change no me everywhere where them chicks at make una ball out start to shake that the party don't stop so if you where notice something right now you discover that everywhere. my rms where them chicks at this is the input rms no me and this everywhere. is the output rms so what we're actually looking for is if you have up to minus 10 db minus 10 db rms then you are going to go once your rms is able to reach about 10 to 8 db here then you have the proper loudness that you have out, out there in the industry so what we are going to be looking at in this particular tutorial is to ensure that we're able to have close to 8 let's say 10 6 8 10 d, db of rms so rms is actually the true main volume of your output so if you can have up to 10 8 6 rms then your sound will be out to go your sound will be ready for distribution and your sound will be ready to be distributed out there eh, and to make money okay so in this particular tutorial we're going to be monitoring the rms so our rms no, me, eh. on the input is minus 24 rms right so this is also the meter you have here. you have true peak Hmm? No me everywhere. We have the peak. No. We have the RMS here. We have the LUFS. LUFS. LUFS is loud a loudness frequency something something, but I can't know. But RMS is root mean square. But both of them are really the same thing. So there are some meters where you can find the RMS, but you cannot find the LUFS. So sometimes you see meters with LUFS and you also find RMS. But both of them are loudness measurement. But the recent technology we have is the LUFS that can help you get accurate loudness meter hmm? okay so we are going to watch out for minus 10 8 and 6 the largest point is minus 6 rms if you're able to achieve these three it means that you have enough loudness in your music that can be distributed so we're going to watch out for hmm, the highest loudest point where we cannot be having distortion at all where we, the loudest rms okay so we're going to give it a gain volume. No me everywhere. Where them chicks at? Make una ball out. Start to shake that. The party don't stop. Where my keys at? Make una ball out. The party don't stop. Show una get mad. Where them chicks at? Make una ball out. Start to shake that. The party don't stop. Where my keys at? Make una ball out. The party don't stop. Show una get mad. Wow. So we almost having if you look at this particular meter here i think we achieve up to eight no me everywhere where them chicks at make una ball out have nine nine eight and ten rms um wow that is enough loudness for your mix guys that's enough loudness for your mix but however we're also going to be no me every so the game reduction that we have here no me everywhere where them chicks at make minus six gain reduction which is this peak value so what you are seeing right here is the peak value so it's minus 6 dB reduction of this peak value for you to bring out this volume. This thick area is actually your main volume that you are looking for. Okay, in the main punch that you have in your speaker, the loudness, this is the loudness. This thick area of your song is the loudness of your 
music. So we are going to be trashing down most of this dynamic. So if we're able to reduce this dynamic to be bare minimum, we can be able to have enough loudness in our mix. But however, there is no music that you can completely eradicate the uh, dynamics. Because if you eradicate the dynamics, you have crushed the, the beauty of the music. So what we are doing right here is to ensure that we're able to reduce the dynamic to a bare minimum for us to have enough loudness. So there I'm going to be bringing in this unity gain this unity gain helps to monitor where you can half crush like where they know me everywhere where them chicks at they could not ball out Stop so see it's crashing so i'm going to be dropping it until i find where it's no longer crushing the the audio where audio. they know me everywhere where them chicks at they could not ball out Stop to shake that the party don't stop where my keys at Okay, then I'm going to open it. Where they know me everywhere. Where them chicks at? They could not ball out. Start to shake that. The party don't start. Where my keys at? They could not ball out. The party don't start. Joe will not get mad. Where them chicks at? They could not ball out. Start to shake that. The party don't start. Where my keys at? They could not ball out. The party don't start. Joe will not get mad. all right guys so this is pretty much on how to master your music with a limiter this particular project i'm going to export this so we're going to check our settings again so what we have here is um fitry if i turn it fitry where they know me everywhere where them chicks at they could not ball out start to shake that so this is a fitter button if you want to fitter your sound then if you don't where they know me everywhere where them chicks at they could not ball out start to shake that the party don't stop where my keys at they could not ball out the party don't stop Joe will not get mad where them chicks at they could not ball out start to shake that the party don't stop okay right now we're going to export our beat just go to a spot right here then 16 bits remember this particular audio is 24 bits 48 hertz then i'm going to so since i already have my d train on here so it has disabled the d train out here so i'm going to click export then you go to your so desktop that i'm going to put it on this uh... where is it so we're spotting this fire right now So we'll just render down our audio, and this is our audio right here. <laughs> I got dough, so the party for sure. See me now, I did shake that. The party don't stop. Where my keys at? Make me ball out. So guys, this is pretty much on how you master your audio in Tirac with limiter so make sure you subscribe to this channel share the video and don't forget to join our free music production um um, um online class on our online telegram class in the description below so just